Hey, what's up there, you two? Section 333 here. Smoking the... Two thousand eighteen St. Patrick's Day pipe. My last video I smoked the twenty seventeen. It's two green pipes in a row. Two St. Patrick's Day of the year. Or two St. Patrick's Day pipes in a row from Peterson and two Petersons in a row. It is a Friday. It's not my Savinelli. I am sorry, matches. Um not that I didn't want to smoke a Savinelli. I just been feeling very nostalgic about the whole Peterson being sold thing, even though they say everything's gonna be the same. We know how that goes. Hopefully it is. Um, if not, there's really nothing I can do about it, so I'm not going to lose sleep over it. Or complain about it. It's just not dignified. This is actually a great pipe, though. I love the stem on it. Even though it's a little, a little crooked. Gently Tamp did a video on how his was a little crooked. Um, his spigot was a little bit crooked. This one is a little bit crooked. Um, I'm not gonna sweat over it. It's, I don't mind it. Um, yeah, I'll deal with it. Smokes very well. I love the matte green finish. I think that's just beautiful. The, um, you know, so you have the orange from the flag of Ireland. Um, I guess that represents the Protestants, right? Um, and this is the white, and here's your green. So this kind of represents the flag of Ireland. It's a beautiful pipe, beautiful pipe. Um, and I am smoking McClellan's Bombay Core Pipe Tobacco in it. Uh, same tin I originally opened a while back when I did the review of it. Still nice and moist, smells amazing. Um, yes, absolutely missed the McClellan's. Tobacco, I agree with OMS. There is nothing in the world like Frogmorton Cellar. Um, yeah, Frogmorton Cellar. Even Frogmorton in general is excellent pipe tobacco. I've immensely enjoyed every tobacco I've ever smoked from uh, McClellan. So. That, that speaks volumes about them. They're right. They seem to make it just right. They're, they're what I like to call Goldilocks. Because remember Goldilocks? The, actually, Baby Bear. You should call him Baby Bear. Well, it's kind of freaky. Because um, every time she got the Baby Bear's food, Baby Bear's bed, they, everything was just right. You know, porridge was too hot, porridge was too cold, baby bear's porridge was just right. So, it's really like, just right. And every tobacco I've had has been just, just strong enough, just the, much, just the right amount of Latakia, stuff like that. They, they do it well. Virginia's aren't too sweet, they were just right in most of the McClellan blends. Um... I do have a giveaway announcement to make, too. I'm going to keep the giveaway open, all right? I'm going to keep the giveaway open till I close it. And uh, so more people have the opportunity to enter. Part of that is because I made a mistake with it. I said, um, Mr. Brog Pipes, they were Dr. Graybo Pipes. So, um, call this a giveaway update video. Here's the update. I have three Dr. Grey bowl pipes, and I have now three Doc Mr. Brog pipes as well. So I have Mr. Brog and Dr. Grey bowl. I'm going to pick the first three winners. I'm going to pick six winners. And the first three winners, I will email you guys back and forth. I will DM you um, after you email me. Um, I'll announce on air who you are or on, on the end one. one when I close it, then I'll, I'll pick the winners with the random YouTube picker. And then I'll announce um, who 
who the first three winners are. You guys will then DM me or, or email me and tell me whether you want a Dr. Graybow or a Mr. Brock pipe. The second three winners uh, or runner-ups will all receive whatever is left. Uh, all the pipes cost $30 exactly. Um, they were all $29.99. So, that, that's, that's just it. Um, and they're all the same quality. Uh, I'm not going to send pictures of the pipes out, things like that. So you just tell me whether you want Dr. Grabo or Mr. Brock. Um, I think Mr. Brock is made in Poland. I'm not sure where the Dr. Grabo's are. They're all brand new pipes. They're all in the packages still. Um, they, you will receive them in the packages that they come in. All right. Um, new condition, new pipes. Not new condition. They are new pipes. All right. That's what you will receive. And you will enjoy them. No. <laughs> uh, and I hope you enjoy them, in all honesty. I, it says, I hope you're enjoying today. It's not a bad day. It's a little overcast. It is hot as heck out. I worked out today. Left the gym. I was drenched in perspiration and sweat. As I still am. Got my Duff shirt all soaking wet like I dipped in the pool already. Um, so what I'll probably do is take a dip in the pool at some point. Yeah, that sounds like a plan. <laughs> sounds like a very good plan at some point. Um, but yeah, so that's the update for the uh, contest. I think that's the best thing to do. Is I'll do six winners. First three winners will get to pick their brand of pipe that they would like. And the second three winners will get what is left. Um... But I get to give out six pipes, and that makes me happy when I can give stuff away, you know. Um, and ecstatic that I had 300 subs, and uh, I hope to push that to 500 subs at some point, 400 subs. And I'll do a giveaway every 100 subs I get to, you know. Um, I feel like 300 is a milestone. Man, we got some weird birds in this town. In this town, um, <laughs> you see some of the things that they, yeah, it, they don't terrorize this poor dog because I think they're afraid of her. Uh, <laughs> but <laughs> yeah, yeah, I've yet to find ducks or geese or anything in the pool, which is good. I had four frogs in there the other day, and uh, I had to take them out. Yeah, it kind of grossed the wife out a little bit because I mentioned that they had very big legs and we could eat them. And uh, she said, no, you can't eat them. And I said, yes, you can eat those. Uh, <laughs> and it went back and forth for a little while. Um, if you've never had frog legs, they do taste like chicken wings. And yeah, I know you hear everything tastes like chicken. Rattlesnake does not taste like chicken. No, no, it does not. Uh, <laughs> Anyone who tells you that is lying to you, okay? Uh, at least I. it didn't taste like chicken to me. Um, frog legs do taste like chicken. It tastes just like chicken, as far as I'm concerned. Yeah, so. And I know how to cook. So. Next time I'm going to barbecue some frog legs. So, let's see what else we got going on here. That's about it, actually. So we got the giveaway. Great pipe, of course. Um, smoking some great tobacco. Uh, and we have the adjustment to the giveaway. So the contest is going to continue to stay open till I close it. I will close it. Then I will, the next video, I will announce the winners. After it's closed, I will announce the winners. And uh, it will be six winners. So, the first three winners will get to pick their brand. The second three will get what is left. And, um, but in all honesty, everybody's getting something very comparable. Um, and it's just more winners. And more winners is a good thing. Um, I wish the rest of the world could look at it like that. That more winners is a good thing. Because it is. Yeah. 
yes, there's always going to be winners and there's always going to be losers. Yeah. Yeah. You know what it is? I think part of it is because we don't encourage sports anymore in, in the schools. Um, because everyone has to win. And, you know, everybody gets a trophy for showing up. Everybody's Kickstarter has merit. Um, no. <laughs> it doesn't work like that. You know, it, it, oh man, sometimes I think we're setting kids up for failure, man. Getting a participation trophy, you know? Like I said, you know, I, I might have said it in a video one year, you know? I, was just, you know. I remember saying to my dad, how do we get the big trophy next year, dad? We got that second place trophy. The second place trophy was like this big, and the first place trophy was like this big from the ground, you know? Like you could have fit six of those trophies, the, the second place trophies, in the first place trophy. And I said to my father, "How do we get the big trophy next year?" And he said, "You have to practice hard and play harder, and, and give every. You have to work harder than you did this year. You, and not only do you have to work harder than you did this year, you got to work harder than they did this year. You know. And it's funny. It's something. It reminds me of something The Rock always says." Always be the hardest guy, the hardest working guy in the gym. Or gal. Be the hardest worker in the gym. If you're in a gym and there's five other people in the gym, and that guy does six six reps, you do eight. You know? And it's, I think by not having kids compete in sports, they don't try harder. They don't try to come back. I was one of the worst athletes in second and third grade, you know. By the time I got to eighth grade, I was one of the best athletes in the school, you know. And, you know, and then I got to high school, and I wasn't a great athlete again, you know, because these guys were older, bigger, stronger, and they, they're coming from all over the, you know, the Long Island to, to, to play sports at the school I went to. So I had to get better than those kids, you know. I had to work harder, you know, and... Just like anything else, you know, I remember I struggled with math at one time, and then I, and then I mastered math, you know, I, it, it's, I, I worked harder at it, I got better at it, I practiced, and I, I think when people come across and things that don't make them happy now, they either quit or they lash out like children, and it's that lashing out like children that has, um, overtaken our current political climate it overtakes the workplace um, it overtakes so many things you can't because you can't exchange ideas when you have the mind of a child and you act like a child the exchange of ideas becomes much more difficult because you're not patient you know and one of the one of the things I learned in life itself is the patient the person I had to be most patient with was me had to be patient with me because I would frustrate myself by not excelling at something directly right away. And then when I was persistent and worked at it, I found I got better. And, you know, I learned that from one of my best friends. Um, he is one of the hardest working people I know. And he's brilliant. He's absolutely a brilliant man. But he, he's diligent. He will like like Thomas Edison said you know he'll try a thousand ways to do something you know I don't know how many ways Edison tried like all these different ways to to make the light bulb and failed and he's like I didn't feel like I failed I just found out so many different ways to not make a light bulb you know I just so I kept looking for new ways to do it and it's persistence and that's what people have to carry away from almost every experience in life you know, if your political candidate doesn't win, you, you don't stomp your feet, crawl out into the streets, and, and call everybody that disagrees with you a moron. You, you muster up your energy and your strength, and, and you put together a platform and, and a set of ideas and what you stand for, and, and you work towards that goal. You know, it, it, it's... You know, insulting a guy is, brings you to his level. Now you're at his level. 
you know? You, you gotta work past it, you know? It's, like I said, I never thought I'd live in, in this country where we wouldn't be able to exchange ideas. My best friend and I are very different political, on the political spectrum, very different. And, uh, but he and I have always been able to have a conversation about it and see each other's point of views. And, uh, and oddly enough, over the 40 plus years I've known him, we've gotten closer here in that, in that, in those ideas. Um, and like I said, we were already at the point where we would do anything for the other, you know? So our, we were just talking that our friendship probably doesn't exist for most millennials today. Yeah, that's a shame. Yeah. Um, where you can have such differences of opinion and still, yeah. But then I said to him, I said, you know, I know some boomers who were like that too. I know some Gen Xs who were like that. That if you differ from my opinion, they go the other way. You know, they don't want to talk to you. They don't want nothing to do with you. You know, and that's just wrong. Because I feel like it shuts you out from people and it closes your mind. Yeah, I'm always going to listen to what somebody has to say. You know, if they're that passionate about it and they can speak intelligently about it, I do want to hear what they have to say. Because maybe it'll change the way I'm thinking. You know, and maybe it'll open my eyes to something that I haven't seen before. Yeah, you know, that's just me. I don't want to get too preachy. I don't want to get too political on you guys. This is a pipe channel. Um, I do have a box opening of an Adams Polishes mystery um, box uh, that I received right after the Super Bowl. Uh, I'm going to post that on my other channel, Orange Crush Hemi. And that's the one that deals mostly with car content um, for guys who like cars and things like that. Uh, and that's really just about the, the two Wranglers and the um, and the the Challenger for the most part. And uh, yeah, that that's uh, that's a passion of mine. I, I love driving cars, and I grew up in a family of mechanics. Um, both of my mother's brothers were mechanics, and uh, so, yeah, I grew up in a family, I have a cousin that's a mechanic, yeah, it's just where I grew up, and uh, so cars have always been a big part of our lives, um, they're actually quite marvelous machines, <laughs> uh, naturally aspirated gas engines, and even those electrical ones are kind of cool too, but they lack something. They lack the roar <laughs> of, of the naturally aspirated gas combustion engine. Um, so, hope everybody has a good weekend. I'm going to be signing out. Uh, keep smoking. Yeah, I don't do it too much, you know. Just, but enjoy your pipes, you know. Enjoy your pipes, enjoy your tobacco. Do what makes you happy in life. As long as it's not hurting anybody else, there's nothing wrong with it. Um, don't hurt yourself either. Uh, but do what do what makes you what helps you enjoy life. And like I said, I'm gonna be signing out. Hope everybody has an incredible weekend. And uh, I am working this weekend, um, but I'm I'll be thinking and hoping that everybody else is. It's not working. It's having a good weekend. All right? You guys be good. Section 333 out.